If you were a piece of fruit, what kind would you be? I'd probably be a long, thin banana. <laughs> Ready to be peeled and tasted. <laughs> Swallowed. <laughs> Slowly at first. Probably a banana that you'd want to eat while you blag or drag a blind pit bull on a sled. <laughs> wearing nothing but a scuba suit. Wow, you sound like an uncle. Um... <laughs> Contestant number two. What took you so long? No. What took you so long? I've been waiting here. <laughs> Why didn't you ask me first? What, what would you say to me to sweep me off my feet? Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. I'll sweep you off your feet. But just look at me. <laughs> look. Oh, okay, I'm looking. Same question. How would you say goodbye? I'd probably say goodbye, slave, then pull your little air valve and watch the air come out of you as you fly around the room and lay on the floor limp. Limp and void of all moisture. Because I've sucked you dry watching your br okay. <laughs> okay. You, you must have some sort of idea now, Greg. What's your guess for these various ones? I don't know. I'm still kind of dwelling on number three. Yeah. <laughs> well, think harder. Harder! <laughs> I'm waiting! Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and I came the boy's new friend in the neighborhood. Hi, Delbert. What up? He said, and then suggested they both take a bath together. Why don't we both take a bath together, I suggest. Okay. <laughs> okay. It took you so long. Right. <laughs> where would you drive me to? Somewhere where it would just be me and you. Where there was nothing else around. Just me. I, just me. <laughs> Look at me. Don't ask me any more questions. You don't have to. Oh, okay. I'll answer everything. All right. Look at me. Okay. 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 <laughs> TV ads, commercials, using these hats. Hello, you may remember me from the Secret Squirrel Show many years ago. <laughs> now I'm selling my own line of cosmetics. They're called Morocco's Molds. <laughs> you put them on your face. <laughs> then you buzz before it's funny. Well, I may not be a judge of a lot of things, but I know delicious margarine when I eat it. <laughs> Guilty. It's delicious. The sentence is toast. You know, now that Hong Kong's been given back, there's jobs in the communist army for all of us. Come on over. Do you like a diet of rice and fish heads? Do you like marching through the woods 24 hours a day? Would you like to share one rifle with everyone in your platoon? Then join today. The buzzing sound you hear is the capitalist trying to oppress us. I really have nothing to say. I just love this hat. And you are three TV evangelists. <laughs> it could happen. They must wash their, their, their clothes somewhere. So away you go. Dry! Dry! <laughs> Can anyone spare a donation so that I may wash my clothes, is it? <laughs> Yay! I have seen the clothes and the clothes are clean. <laughs> God be praised, the clothes are clean. Praise the clothes! Praise the clothes! Come and say, la 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 I have just been a spoken to. <laughs> Let us talk for a moment of the lost socks. <laughs> Two have gone in. And yet, only one comes Why? Why? Uh, old, old asparagus, asparagus, then. There you go. So, keys are done for the lock, a handful of fluff, and old asparagus. Where you go? Hey, it's five o'clock, and it's time to shop. shop. Welcome. <laughs> We've got all kinds of great bargains for you today, don't we, Teddy? We certainly do. What's first on the bill? Today, keys. Come on. They just look like ordinary keys. Oh, Who would be they? interested in those? Well, this keys to my Porsche, this keys to my yacht, or are they? You see, I don't need any of those things because I've got the keys. That impresses women in the bar like crazy. Hey, what's this one too? I don't know. What is it? It might fit my Learjet. My Learjet? Do I have one? Who knows? <laughs> Say, what do you got there? And whose belly button did you take that out of? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. For a special time only, we're selling celebrity belly lint. Really? Exactly. Huh. What could you use something like that for? Well, it's Halloween. What should I go as? Huh. Ho, ho, ho! Hey, you're Santa Claus! That's right! Don't scare me! No! Oh, no! I spilt a drink on Mom's coffee table! 
soaks it up in seconds flat. <laughs> oh, boy. I bet it does. Mom's coffee table. Do you keep that in her house? Yes, I do. I got the key. Oh! How much would you be willing to spend for this celebrity belly button lint? Hmm. 40 pounds? No. 30 pounds? No. 180 pounds? That's absolutely right! It's a wagon! I'm gonna get the money out of my safe right now! But you know, we also have other things. Oh, many other things. Things that are good for you. And things that aren't quite so good for you. Like what? I'll tell you. Hmm. Old asparagus. <laughs> now what possible use can a person have for old asparagus? I know new asparagus is good for you and good for your body. But what purpose could old asparagus have? <laughs> well, it's enough of the stalling. Let's get right to it. Right. <laughs> old asparagus. It is for this. Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times you'll invite people over to your house. You want to fix for sure. You want to fix them a big meal, but that's nothing. People don't really thank you for that. They don't appreciate it. But if you have old asparagus in your fridge, they what call? They leave as soon as they can. That's right. No more wasting your time. Hell hell I want it house. Let me get the key. Let me get the door for you. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bachelor number two, describe a fantasy date for you and me. A fantasy date. Let's see, would that be a date where there wouldn't be any pantyhose hanging in the bathroom where someone could walk into it in the middle of the night and think of some big spider web and scream? Maybe that would be a fantasy. Maybe cleaning up after yourself every once in a while would be a fantasy. I think Bachelor 2 wasn't held enough as a child. <laughs> Bachelor number 3. What? Woo me! Woo me! <laughs> Woo you? Woo you? You gotta get me out of here, man. <laughs> Just pick me and get me out of here. I gotta breathe fresh air. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see her again. <sighs> I gotta get out of here. You gotta smoke? <laughs> I don't smoke. Bachelor number one! <laughs> How about a close... banana just to close things off? A delicious banana. What do you mean by that? Well, now that we've bonded here on the date, I thought maybe you could show me how to peel the banana. All right, I'll show you. It must be done very slowly. All right. Very gently. <laughs> Elizabeth, I, I never knew you were such a strident picnicker. Did you? No. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Have a bite. Wait. Bachelor number two, at the risk of offending you, because you're a bastard. How would you propose to me? Hmm? How would I propose? Well, let me think. I'd clear the filth on my floor of the flat, bend down, then hope you could talk in a lower register, because it's burning my ears. Do go on, you Sam, just like Bianca. <laughs> Sorry! That's what I'm afraid. Yeah. Same question! What was it? I don't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Have you heard from the governor? How did you propose? Uh, I'd make you uh, carve your ring out of soap, and then we'd uh, honeymoon in a tunnel. Just get me out of here. Slip something in a cake, would you? Come on, Brad. Some of these I can't sleep on my stomach anymore. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Ryan has called Greg round because he has an insect bite, which is going weird. <laughs> nice, sim nice simple scene, that, and I'll give you some styles in just a moment. Oh. Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> Come on in, Ryan. Right? Oh, my God, I came and said, you weren't kidding. Look at the size of that thing. It's going weird. <laughs> Normal, and then it started growing hairs out of what, it. What? What bit you? A flying wolverine? I don't know. It, it came out of my sleeping bag. I was getting ready for my big camping trip. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Well, one down with the Oh look, it's spreading to my beautiful breast. Here, be careful of the water. Shh. <laughs> Be Beavis and Butthead. 
There's the bug. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Why don't you shoot it? Look, man, it's moving up to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let me squish it and, like, stuff will get all over you, man. Why, why did you bite it off? <laughs> no, wait, I bite it off. Okay, okay, wait a minute. In there, too close. You bite it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very good. Uh, fame. Uh, fame? Fame. I'm never gonna get this bug off. Sure you are. <laughs> Do a baseball movie. You gotta, you gotta take this bite off for me. All right, I'll take it off. I've been a doctor on this table for 65 years. Hey, how about taking two bites off for me? Oh, Maybe three. Sure. I'll take as many bites off as you want, Jim. You gotta get out there and play. There's kids out there with cancer who are depending on you today. Can't understand the bloody word you're saying. Well done.